What's up YouTube, Lord Xander here, coming to you with another comic book review video. Now I haven't done a comic book review video in quite some time, so we'll just see if this one uh, hits the mark or not. But anyways, so uh, this weekend, um, Saturday, I was at the San Antonio Public Library downtown, you know, just kind of walking around. They had this uh, kind of cool uh, anime thing here and advertisements for upcoming uh, events here in uh, San Antonio. Bunch of booths, so they had a, uh, a stand full of like uh, comic books. They said free. But, uh, so this is an upcoming event here in uh, Texas at the Henry B. Gonzalez uh, Convention Center in San Antonio, October 6th through 8th. So it's kind of like a little mini convention where people dressed up in, um, you know, various uh, anime characters, Marvel characters, uh, Darth Vader, uh, Din Djarin from The Mandalorian, Star Wars, all that. And uh, they were uh, showing this, uh, I guess it's a TV show self-made. Pretty interesting. Um, and they're making a button, so I got this pretty cool button. I believe it's from a Batman. Uh, a Red Robin comic book. It's a magnet. The kids picked up other stuff there, you know, from comic books. I a stack of various comic books. Uh, and I grabbed this one saying, hey, you know, it looked like it was pretty good shape. It didn't get cut out yet. Severed arm from uh, Attack on Titan. Then when the little dude got this one, anime character. But anyways, uh, so I was saying, hey, I love old comic books. But there is a, a punch out on this one. But hey, it's a good reading copy, whatever. Uh, but what caught my interest was the table full of uh, Marvel comic books. So there was a, a good stack of them. And I didn't take like a, any a photos because there were a bunch of little kids around and people who may not want to be in the video. So I said, hey, I'll just take a stack. Uh, they were free and, you know, just make a review about them. But anyways. So a character that I love uh, for a long time is Elektra. Uh, I recently stopped collecting um, Marvel Comics, Daredevil, uh, particularly Daredevil, when uh, they, for some stupid reason, made her into Daredevil, which made no freaking sense to me because she's her own character she is a badass. She's a warrior. She is a ninja. She is an assassin. She's fought on the side of evil, on the side of good. Uh, but anyways, so, uh, so I was able to get copies three and four of Electra Black, White, and Blood. All right. So I'm not going to review this whole uh, issue here, but I uh, thought this was funny. You know, there's a warning label. Now, not to say that suicide's funny or whatever, but... They didn't have these, quote, trigger warning stuff in comic books when I was in, uh, re uh, reading them as a kid and growing up. They had a uh, suicide in there, murder, crime, corruption, all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, obviously, like, assault, uh, bad things happening, but, you know, never warning. So, these are the times we live in. But anyways, uh... I can't believe this dude is editor-in-chief. So Marvel has gone downhill in a big, huge way. The art is not bad. Most of it is. Uh... So, of course, the lecture is, you know, doing her thing. And, you know, she kicks butt, takes names and all that. Sure, with the red cheeks and things, that's kind of weird, but you know, let's check out this interaction with uh, Daredevil, Mr. Catholicism. Okay, so her perspective is she's dumping on Daredevil for being Catholic. Uh, 
course, so, you know, Me Too movement stuff. Of course, Daredevil was trying to, you know, bring her back to the light and she's refusing. Oh, look, they're doing Black, White, and Blood with Moon Knight. Yeah. Bill Sinchevic, yes. But I guess I'm not going to be collecting that. Okay, so adult themes. Um, but of course, you know, can't you know, bring a bad girl back to the good side or whatever. Um, it's got a little anime theme here. Just going to briefly flip through a couple pages here. Ooh. Ghost Rider. That's interesting. Kingpin. I don't know, like I said, I... Oh, um, if I were to purchase this comic book, and I didn't, got it, like I said, I got it from a free event at the library, <clears throat> $4.99 per issue. That is freaking ridiculous. So again, it doesn't prove sales, because these are just, you know, for random, for random people to, to read, of course, Wolverine, level Wolverine. I'm flip through some pages here. All right, anyways, I'm gonna start wrapping this up. This video is getting too long. Star Wars. Okay, my little Stein. Buffy, interesting. Now I used to collect Savage Avengers. I made some videos about it earlier. Just check those out. This was the one I was most interested in. It's a Todd McFarlane. So I might check this one out. This is very Spawn-esque like. Ignore the dog in the background. All new Firefly oh, and Crap Trek. Gonna have fun roasting these, but IDW is going down. But yeah, the trail is an interesting race here. But anyways, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. See if you uh, let me know if you reading these things currently. What are your thoughts and feelings? Um, and if you have any particular like or dislike for Marvel or DC uh, or IDW. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.